A Christmas Carol, one of the most famous stories of all time. It's been adapted into movies, TV episodes, theater plays, everyone knows this story. But I'm going to explain it anyway. Ebenezer Scrooge, played by Jim Carrey, is a curmudgeon old bat who is mean to everyone and only cares about making money. On one Christmas Eve night, he is visited by the ghost of his old business partner, Marley, played by Gary Oldman, who says that he will be visited by three spirits, the ghosts of Christmas past, present, and yet to come, who will try to teach him the errors of his ways. A Christmas Carol is of course a bona fide classic and because it's such a good story, it's really hard to make a bad Christmas Carol movie. However, because we've seen it so many times, it's also hard to make a great Christmas Carol movie, one that really stands out. But I think this one gives it a fair shot. We'll start with my gripes. The motion capture of course tries to make the characters look as realistic as possible, but once again it never fully gets there. It doesn't go into the uncanny valley that much, but sometimes they try to be really cartoonish toony with the way the characters act, and it does not mix well at all. Also, when you get down to it, it has a lot of padding. Like the Polar Express, it manages to keep it all connected to the main theme, but having Scrooge flying around everywhere seemed kinda pointless. This is why I tend to prefer Christmas Carol specials that are on TV, because you could keep the story tighter in 22 minutes than you can in an hour and a half. However, probably the biggest issue I have is that it's a little too dark. I mean, yeah, a Christmas Carol is supposed to be dark, that way the happy moments are even happier. But dear lord, there are some parts that seem like they were put in just to give kids nightmares. Also, some of the jokes fell really flat and ruined what could have been really intense or really touching scenes. But anyway, let's get on to the good stuff. Jim Carrey as Scrooge is fantastic. He not only does a great job in making you hate him in the first act, but he can actually get some pretty decent laughs. You will be haunted by three spirits. That's the Johnson hoop. I'd rather not. Expect the first tomorrow when the bell tolls one. Can't I take them all at once and have it over with, Jacob? Expect the second the next night at the same hour. And the third upon the next night when the last stroke of twelve has ceased to vibrate. <laughs> Plus, he's the best character model in this. It doesn't seem he was supposed to look that realistic, you know, with that huge nose. Plus, there are some dramatic scenes that he pulled off so well that it made my heart break. The visuals are great, as always, and the music is pretty good too. It really does embody the Christmas spirit. I like the designs of the three spirits, like the past one is this flame, the future is just a shadow on the wall, it's really creative. And while I know I complained about how dark it was earlier, the fact that it was so dark and mean-spirited made the ending that much more uplifting. I had a huge smile on my face during the last 10 minutes. So yeah, I like this movie. It isn't perfect, but it does do a good job of getting me in the holiday spirit. I may actually watch it again. I gave it a 7 out of 10. With Christmas coming up next month, if you haven't seen it yet, I think it's a good choice to watch this season. But this would be the last motion capture film Zemeckis ever did after the giant bomb that was Mars Needs Mom pretty much killed the company. So he went back to the live action for his next feature. So how did that work out for him? Well, we'll find out tomorrow.